Hello, my YouTube peeps. What is up? Um, it is Monday, August 15th. I'm up pretty late. I'm talking to a friend, uh, my friend Mina here. She's on the, the, we're using an app called FaceTime to chat. And, uh, yeah, we're just hanging out. So her voice is coming through the computer speakers. And, uh, yeah, I was just telling her about my day. So I thought I'd make the video now and share it with all of you as well. Uh, yeah, basically yesterday I didn't make a video because, well, I didn't have anything to talk about, quite honestly. But today I do, because I read, I finished chapter 10, and I also went into chapter 11 a lot today, using, of course, the iTunes U recording. And I haven't finished it quite yet, but I did get quite a ways into it. I listened to about an hour of the recording. The recording was an hour and a half. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't make it through the rest. I actually ended up calling Mina because I couldn't finish the rest of it. So, Mina, <laughs> what, what experiences do you have with the, 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 the textbooks and the, you know, all that good stuff? Because Mina's an online student, actually. She's up in Iowa right now, and she's coming down to South Carolina pretty soon. And she just started at Full Sail. So, share, share with us, Mina. What do you, what do you have going on? I personally haven't gotten into the textbooks as of yet. Yeah. I, uh, so far it's just been mostly like podcasts that I have to watch and like these online classes that you meet up with the other students, That's neat. which is kind of weird because they, like all the students ask the same questions over and over again, but <laughs> <laughs> so it like takes like twice as long than it should. Hmm. So I don't know. I might, su I, I suggest just, you know, go into the archived after afterwards and just, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, as you well, as you might be able to tell the the online classes like the full online programs are a little different than the campus ones because I did I did an online class and actually next month I have uh, I think it's computer internet and science is going to be an online class but I'm actually on campus. So for the actual full online students, they have way more access to the the classroom videos and it, it's just crazy from what I understand. And it's uh they they all take you you in what is it uh, English composition first I think right? Mm -mm. I'm taking digital literacy. Digital literacy, okay, it has to do with words. I was half right, but uh, no, that's that's weird. It's interesting. So yeah, the curriculum for the online students I think is a little different because obviously there's they've got to go about it a little different way, uh, a little differently I suppose. But um, oh, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I've been been talking to her for a while, and. Uh, yeah, stuff's going good. But yeah, chapter 11, about altruism and acceptance. Good stuff. I, uh, I'm going to have to text. Oh, uh, what is it? Acceptance and what? It's uh, altruism and acceptance is, is the Altruism? Name. Yeah, altruism. It's like, it's like positiveness. What the that? It's, let's let's, let's oh. find out. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> let's, uh... <laughs> Let's see, altruism or selflessness. So it, essentially, altruism is about selflessness. It's the unselfish concern for the welfare of others. And this was one of the this is one of the goals of the chapters, understanding altruism. And you know, I find it was I, I thought it was really funny because most of the the oh, what are they the PowerPoint slides that we did in class, most of those slides were on chapter ten, which is really short. And then we had a couple slides for chapter 11 which is an hour and a half recording and I, I don't know and then we had yeah we had that other teacher teaching the other day it was yeah I don't know I didn't like it <laughs> so, yeah so chapter 11 is going pretty good I'm just about done with it I might finish it up tomorrow before class I think we're watching a movie tomorrow in class actually um, I don't know but so yeah, that's really all. What's up with the the reading? And then uh, in this book here, the acoustics book, I actually finished the first chapter on sound, and I've already been kind of switching between the first and second chapter. And the second chapter is all about the hearing system. Like, did you know that the eardrum has three layers uh, that that make it up? It's, uh, and then the ear also has its own built-in defense system in case of uh, extremely loud noises. So, learning lots of cool stuff that's not even related to behavioral science and. And uh, I guess in other news, I got my midterm grades back, which was good. Except uh, the on the on the list, my teacher put that I had 28 missed hours of class time. It was it was I kind of freaked out a little bit, so I had to email Rain. You scored. 
I scored pretty good. I did score pretty good, actually. I, oh, and I actually counted a few minutes ago, and there were only five people total in the class that got a perfect 100 on the midterm, and I was one of those people. So, yeah. <laughs> and I've currently got, yeah, I've currently got a perfect 4.0 in this class. Hopefully I can carry it through, you know, studying and, and whatever. So we'll see how it goes. The class is going pretty good. The group meeting yesterday was, yeah, it was all right. We kind of got stuff done. Like, it, it really kind of just turned into a hangout session, and not much got done, because some people were here, and then people had to go, and it was just, uh, it really didn't flow that well. But tomorrow, we are meeting up again, and we're actually going to rehearse this time. We are supposed to rehearse yesterday, but tomorrow is going to be the real rehearsal. Thursday is the performance, we have... The, the the songs pre-recorded, so it's pretty cool. And, yeah, I've been sharing with Mina my experiences with uh, the, you know, all the hip-hop scene down here. It's pretty big, that's for sure. It's something that you will encounter if you come on campus is the, the rap <laughs> scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell them what you told, what I didn't know rap stood for. Rap? Oh, so, yeah, trivial fact. Check this out. Rap is actually, it actually is an acronym. It stands for Rhythm and Poetry. Look at that. I didn't, I didn't know that. Maybe somebody else would find that interesting. Too. Maybe, yeah. If, if, you, if you knew that already, then leave a comment or something. If you didn't know, because I thought that was pretty interesting. I've actually got these uh, documentary movies. I've got, they're called, um, oh, what is it? One of them's called Freestyle, Art of the Rhyme, and then the other one is called Scratch, a film by Doug Prey. And they're both really good documentaries on the, you know, where hip hop came from and, you know, important figures in that. And you know, I, I don't think in the scratch one, I don't think they interviewed Qbert. Surprisingly, they didn't interview um, DJ Qbert. And that's another thing I'm excited for the the performance this Thursday. Totally hooking it up with the turntables and stuff. I'm actually scratching. It's gonna be good. I've got the the music on the computer. It's pre-recorded. So yeah, it's coming together pretty well. I'm excited. I've, and I've actually never gotten to scratch on the turntables in front of a crowd before. I've never gotten to, so I'm, and I'm excited. And yeah, Mina is a singer. She's she's been in a couple bands, so she knows what the what that rush is all about. So I'm, I'm excited mm -hmm. for it too. But anyway, yeah, this video is actually, and I think I'm gonna. I, so I took some video. Oh God! Whoa! Sorry. That's right. I do win because I mean. You know, <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so I got inspired earlier. I went grocery shopping. I got tons of the fruits and the veg again. And actually, I made a video with the camera, like, showing what I have in the fridge. So I'm probably going to edit, edit that in so I can share what I, what I have in the refrigerator today. <laughs> I mean, it's laughing at me. <laughs> you hating on me? Yeah. She's hating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do what I want. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, I'll probably edit that in right now because we're coming up on 10 minutes now. There's really not much more to talk about for today other than, yeah, I did a lot of reading again. Uh, I went grocery shopping. Uh, I'm, gosh, that's really all I can think of for today. Tomorrow will be exciting because, you know, I, tomorrow's the day that I'm going to get footage of the back lot, like I said I was. Um, last week, and then I also, it, depending on the weather, I might run down, I told Mina I was going to go get some shots of the online building, because the, the online building is actually its own thing. So all the online students, even if you're on campus, <laughs> and you're um, taking an online class, your instructors and stuff, I do believe, are down on uh, was Hanging Moss Road, and that's where the online building is, so I might make a, a trip out of it tomorrow on the bike with the tripod on the handlebars. I know it didn't really work out the first time I tried that with the wind and everything, but uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I'll, I'll definitely, you know what, I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, wait. Yeah, I can try to do it. <laughs> we have the group rehearsal tomorrow, I forgot. Um, but I'll get it in at some point. I might wake up early tomorrow. Are you there on your way back after class or something? That's a good idea. That's probably what I'll do. Because, yeah, I'm not going to, we're not meeting up right after. I'm just going to meet up at 7 or something. 
But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ed edit in the, the kitchen stuff because I was feeling really inspired earlier. Dan McDonald, he's the man, the life regenerator. Check his stuff out. I'll put a link below. So, yeah. Have a good day or night whenever you're watching. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you're thinking if you have any questions. And I, I know I still need to figure out what the GPA thing is for the school. I haven't been to the school and I haven't had anyone to ask. But I promise I will figure out how, like, what, what the GPA is, like, what they look look for in that. So I haven't forgot about that. I just haven't been able to, uh-oh, FaceTime failed. But, yeah, I haven't been able to figure that out yet. So no worries. I'll figure that out. Anyway, I'll see you soon, tomorrow, actually. And I don't know what the video is going to be like. I know I've been saying it's going to be this and going to be that. But I actually really have no idea. They just kind of make themselves. So anyway, I'm going to edit in the kitchen footage that I took earlier tonight, and I hope you'll enjoy what I have in my fridge, because I do. It's delicious fruits and vegetables all the way. Yeah. Freshman 15 for me? No, sir. Or oh, man. Not for me. I'm staying fit, you know. Mm. Like, whatever. So anyway, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, yo, what's up? Check it out. Uh, yeah, I went grocery shopping today, and I got inspired again. Yeah. Um... So, you know, people been asking what I got in the fridge, you know? So, uh, I figured I'd make a video showing what I got in the fridge. And actually, I just made that up. No one, no one's asked me what I have in the fridge. But I thought I'd share anyway. Um, so check it out. Fruits and the veg all the way. Uh, yeah, I got the grapes. I got like two big old bags of grapes down here. And I think I got uh, some plums and stuff, some strawberries. I got like three things of carrots down here, and these are cool because they're uh, organic carrots, and they're actually still pretty cheap. Um, so I try to go the organic route whenever I can because you don't want all the pesticides, whatever. I've got like uh, five cucumbers in here because they're 50 cents each, pretty cheap. Again, like that's a steal. That's pretty good. Got some lettuce and stuff. Here I've got uh, two full things of celery, lettuce, just greens everywhere. I got bok choy. Uh, the, I think it was just romaine lettuce. They didn't have any kale, uh, so, but that's all right. I, you know, I do what I can with what I got. And I got parsley over here. Two things, two bunches of parsley. And in the back, I got like some avocados. And I think the yeah, the mango from uh, the other day is there. I still got a mango left. I got a new bag of apples. A little baby watermelon. Um, well, I could say I still got a couple oranges left. I finally got the the Brita, the water filter in. Of course, the almond milk. So yeah, I'm just hooking it up with the greens. I got inspired, inspired again. You know, I got the the life regenerator DVD, DVD going right now on the TV, and I'm just um, digging. And then in the freezer, I just got the ice and some of the frozen fruits there for the smoothies. And of course, I got the uh, the juicer going here, no problem. And then um, the cutting board and knife. I always have these two things sitting out. In case I ever want to snack with some oranges or whatever, you know, I got to cut some celery up or something to throw it in the juicer, which you don't even really have to do. And of course, I got the bananas. I got the bananas for like today and tomorrow, and then the super green for a couple days down the road. And then I'm I'm always trying to find the biggest bunches I got because I figure they probably are the same price. You know, I I, I think it's by the pound, but I always try to get the biggest one I can find, um, which that was a pretty big one, but. Uh, yeah, so I'm hooking it, up, hooking it up with the fruits and the veg. There is, uh, I got no meat in the house, no dairy. I'm doing this thing up, you know, because it's something that I wanted to do for a while. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm finally getting able to, to actually do it. Let's take another look at the fridge real quick, because that's impressive if you ask me. Nothing but the fruits and the veg and the green and the delicious... And then of course I got a little bit of little bit of sweetener just in case, you know, um, in case I fall back on anything and I have to, you know, like I'm totally needing some kind of sugar or something. And of course I've got some like what I've got like a pack of ramen up in the cabinet in case I really have like a, a relapse, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I thought I'd share what I what the fridge is like because I was feeling pretty inspired. And I like the health foods. I like feeling healthy. I've been eating pretty much mainly, I'd say like 85, 90% raw foods the past week. And I'm feeling great, actually. Um, 
you know, it's, it's been good stuff. So, you know, if you want to get healthy and stuff, hook it up with the fruits and the veg. Check out Dan McDonald, the Life Regenerator. He's got tons of stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next part about the school stuff. All right. Turn this off.